You're not going to believe what we found wrong with this one. Ah! No start, no compression. This engine was ran out of oil. You don't want to miss anything. We're going to show you a lot of tips and tricks, and we're going to go through this engine and find out exactly what happened. I'm going to show you what started as the problem. You need to check yours. Now, I'm taking all this stuff loose so I can get this cover off. We've got to go clean this engine. Right there. There's your problem. This engine's only got 100-something hours on it, but they never changed the oil. These Briggs and Stratton Intex, they're bad about the oil filter being loose. And here's one more issue. The doggone oil drains are almost never tight. They always work loose if they are tight. No, 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 no. The reason I'm loosening all these bolts on this cover, I'm going to leave it on and then take it outside, pressure wash it, take this cover off, pressure wash it again. I want to get it as clean as possible. Another tip for you, if you have trouble remembering where these screws go, just put them back in the hole when you take it apart. Well, it's not perfectly clean, but it's sure a lot better. Well, it's a little bit cleaner, so, but look, you can turn the engine over. Let's pop these valve covers off right quick and we'll go spin it over and see, you know, make sure that they're spinning or up and down, those kind of things. I got to show you, I know my elbow's in your way. I got to show y'all a trick that was told to me by one of you, one of our viewers, and somebody left a comment on a trick they said that I should try. So normally I use a screwdriver and a hammer and pop these loose. What the viewer said, and I wish I knew his name. I tried to look, but I couldn't find it. He said, get one of these, you know, 47 and one tools, five, five and four, you know, three, two, whatever they are, use them to pop the valve cover off. So let's try it. Hey, that works pretty good. And you know what? It doesn't bend the valve cover like a real thick screwdriver would. Good idea, thank you. I wish I knew who it was. If you're watching, let me know in the comments of this video. It was you. We really appreciate it. I read those comments. I like seeing stuff like that. So let's spin the engine over. Uh-oh. Do y'all left in these rockers? They're not doing anything. Nothing. Right row. Let's find out why. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this intake and carburetor assembly out of the way. All right, I'm on the other side. We just got to unplug our wire. Pop that little lever there up, and let's get these other two screws out. And then I'm going to tilt it around and unhook this uh, linkage. All right. And these screws do have And it smells like stinky feet. Ugh. Rotten tire smell, or, I, you know, I don't know. Okay, day does it stink for some? It smells like I. I don't know, but it's awful. All right, carburetor intake assembly. Now let's get this throttle linkage off. Okay, this throttle linkage, I want to take this off and I'm going to do these two springs here. Take note of where they are. The reason I'm doing it this way, that's the wrong socket. The reason I'm doing it this way is so I can get this engine cover off and I ain't even going to take that governor arm loose. Couple of screws there. Now, take that spring loose. Remember which one goes where now, y'all. Don't forget. Tell you what you can do if you're doing this. 
Let's hook them back. So do y'all know what's wrong with it yet? Some of you do. A little tappy tap. It's trying to come. There she goes. Come over there. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh, look at the carnage in there. I got to bring you guys in closer. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Look at all the bits. Do y'all think we can fix this? Well, she slung a rod and the cam ain't working. Uh-oh, can y'all look at this camshaft? Check this out. See it's stuck out right here and way in over there. That camshaft is bent too. Look at there. It wasn't even touching the crank gear where it's sitting. Well, it's touching, but it's not able to spin because that camshaft's bent. Well, somebody really doesn't want us to fix that John Deere Zero turn. That's the part right there. That, that's your oil pump where your cam drives the oil pump. Look at that. So it needs a new case also. Oof, duh. Well, let's go ahead and remove these rockers. I want to slide that cam out. Come out of there. It's all stuck. There it is. That's a little crooked. <laughs> Dang it. You know what, folks? Camshaft, engine cover. Oh, the crank is terrible. Rods, rings, golly. Well, the bad news is, is I'm not putting that much money in this engine, okay? Good news is, I'm going to probably keep the heads, keep the starter, the flywheel, the ignition coils, you know, that kind of thing on here. So this twin cylinder, here's scrap metal. This block is even shot. The a hole knocked out of the skirt back there where the cam goes. It's in bad shape. That's what all I'm throwing away. And then over here, I'm going to save all these parts and put them in a box. And if you didn't see the video how we got to this point, check out this John Deere video, the one before this one, and watch that one and you'll see how we got to this point. Because it's not worth putting the money in that John Deere unless I can come up with another engine. So I don't have another one that I can rebuild or fix or put on it. So anyhow, we appreciate you guys watching. Click that subscribe button. Maybe give us a thumbs up. Oh, ring the bell when you click the subscribe button. That way you get notifications of all my new videos. We appreciate each and every one of you. See you next time. Golly, what a mess. Who's got to clean all this up? I guess me. Boy, that thing is warped. <laughs>